In this video we'll show how you can take the search part of a grid and display the uh, search part in a pop-up window. So you can see here we have a uh, simple grid based on Northwind customers and when I click on this button here the search part opens up uh, in this case in a drop-down window. If I uh, click anywhere off the window the window goes away uh, and then if I go here and I type in for example LON, DON and then hit the search button the search gets performed and the window gets closed down. So let's go back now and see how we um, uh, did this. So what we'll do is we'll start out with a grid here that has uh, a standard search part displayed at the top of the grid and we'll go through the steps that we needed in order to make uh, the button that opened up the search in a uh, window. So we'll go back to design mode now and the first thing that we're going to do is uh, turn on the master template and we're going to choose a custom template and you can see here we've already created the template just to um, save some uh, typing but I'll just delete what's there. So what we've done over here is we've taken the search part and the grid part but we've taken the search part and we've wrapped the search part in a uh, div and we've given the div an arbitrary name called search ID. So at this point when we go and we run our component it looks identical to how it looked previously. So now what we're going to do is go back to the master template and the first thing that we want to do is create uh, an action button that is going to open up a pop-up window. So we'll go here and we'll say uh, insert action and we'll define a new action and we'll call this action uh, say uh, search window and we'll call this button say uh, uh, search. And now let's go ahead and uh, define the uh, action. So we'll go to Java Actions, Action JavaScript, add a new action, type in window and say open pop-up Ajax window. And what we want to do here is um, we want to basically um, set the window uh, itself, the window content, to be the content of a div. And the div that we want is uh, search. Then we want to remove the height and the width so that the window opens up at the exact same size of the search part so we just remove the height and the width and then we want to give the window an explicit name so instead of using the default name we're going to go here and type in um, uh, in capitals window and the reason that we're going to give the window an explicit name is because after the user submits the search we want to programmatically close the window and this sample code here tells us that the way that you close the window is you use the get window method to get a pointer to the window so in this case we'll be saying get window and then search window is the name of the window and then we're going to be calling the hide method so this is going to allow us to close the window after the user does the search so at this point now we've defined Oh, and also let's change that the, the window type from a modal pop-up to a drop-down, which means it's going to just display right underneath uh, the button. So let's go ahead now and click it, then save this. And now, now that we've defined this action, uh, let's put this action uh, on the master template. So now we've got the search button above the, um, the div where the search part is shown. So now let's go here and then go there and uh, run it and we're nearly there now so when I click the search button you can see the window opens up if I tap anywhere off the um, window it, it goes away so let's go this type in search now type in say LON DON hit the search button you can see that the uh, search gets performed but the window didn't close down so there's the search so the last step now is to go and close the window down automatically after a search is done so to do that we go to our client side events and we can see that there's an event called after search submit and I'm going to just uncomment the code that I previously had so you can see there's the name of the search window and there's the dot hide method so let's go ahead now and run this so go here, type in search, type in Paris, hit the search button, the window closes down and the search is performed. Thank you very much for watching.